Those are cute pants. Oh, thanks. Long. Thank you. I think we might be live. <laughs> that cleaning floor. Facebook. Are we live? Oh, yeah. It's Hello. because two girls are talking. <laughs> I have a very special guest today. Welcome to Facebook Live, by the way. Thank and uh, Jennifer Gardner is here. Yeah. An old friend, a young old friend. <laughs> and uh, and it's so nice to see you it's again. It's really nice to see you too. And Jennifer is um, a mother, an actress, a TV star, um, a farmer now. She has chickens mm -hmm. and bees, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And a garden. Mm -hmm. And she's also now an entrepreneur. She has started a new line of really interesting baby food called Once Upon a Farm. So tell us about that really quick, and we'll go into that later, but just tell us about the Well, the it's, it's just, I'm, I'm so excited. It's the first cold-pressed, organic, non-GMO, no sugar added, everything good that you would want to feed your baby. And you when you make your baby's food homemade and you just don't have time, you know this is as close to homemade as you can possibly find. And it's in the refrigerated section. Vegetable and fruit? Vegetable and fruit. Mixed together or separate? Uh, uh, mixed oh. together. Oh, For the most part. There's also some separate things, but yes. I, I tasted one that had nuts in it, had cashews. Oh, did it? Yeah. And how was it? Tasty. Tasty, yeah. right? Pears Not and, too sweet. Pears, raspberries, and cashews. Mm -hmm. And um, so we'll talk about that in a little bit, but mm -hmm. but since you're here, I just thought it would be fun to, you've been on my show several times. So many times? Since and, before uh, you had a show, since when you were just cooking by yourself in Martha's Kitchen. Jennifer Garner came, so always welcome and always fun. Uh, and so much to say, you have a lot to say all the time. I, I know, I'm yeah. gonna do my best. <laughs> no, no, that's, you're on TV, you have okay. to talk. Uh, but tell us a little bit about your career right now because you're, uh, a, new, a new series is coming out, which mm -hmm. uh, is called. I did this new series we're done it's called camping it's going to be on hbo and it was does it, does super it fun it's a comedy do, does it have to do with camping it does it's four couples camping. who go camping together see you you picked up on it and it's just hilarious and so much fun it was written by lena dunham and jenny Connor. and she's so funny so funny yes. and then i did an action movie that'll be out in september called peppermint oh okay. and you're gonna like it oh yes it's tough are it's you a mom who goes crazy oh yeah and look at her, look at her arms and her shoulders. She's like really, really fit right now. But you're all you've always been fit. Every time I've seen you, you've been very fit, very nice. So that's yeah. fun. And then the kids. The kids are great. Oh, they're good. really good. They're yeah. just enjoying summer. And uh, I read in the paper that you had you went to see a play last week. Gossip, we, gossip. We did. We went to see um, several plays, but we went to see Hello Dolly because Victor oh. Garber, my beloved. Um, Dad from Alias was uh, starring on Broadway in Hello Dolly. Oh, oh so he's so good, he's isn't he? Always yeah. good in everything. I, I, he went does. To, I went to see that. I thought it was really great. Mm -hmm. Great mm -hmm. revival. Uh, well, we have the magazine still mm -hmm. making beautiful food mm -hmm. all the time. And I thought I would show you two summertime dishes that great. Uh, maybe your family would like to eat, like peach. Definitely. Dish, you know, peach pie with a. Um, beautiful puff pastry topping, and also a lobster or shrimp uh, BLT. Great. Yeah, do the kids I'm, eat everything? No, but we're working on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what don't, do they eat lobster? Uh, yeah, I think they oh. would eat lobster. Yeah, they'll they'll eat this. We're, we're gonna be good to go. Oh, okay, what, mm -hmm. don't, what don't they eat? Um, they don't eat the strangest things. You know, it's like combining too many flavors. Like, they won't have gravy on their chicken or on their, which I just, I never But they're not understand. vegetarians. No. Are you a vegetarian? No. No. Mm -hmm. That's good. My daughter is a vegetarian, Alexis, and her and the two kids are they're pescatarians. But it drives me crazy because I have a hard time. I uh, I call her up and say, What do you, what can I serve you on Saturday lunch? No meat, of course. I shouldn't have to say that anymore. No pasta, no carbs. Mm -hmm. I, and by the time she's finished with the list, I don't know what to feed the kids. No eggs. Well, because, if anyone can do it, you can do it. It, it takes is, all kinds, Martha. It is really mm -hmm. hard, but the kids are healthy. Yeah, and they are, and they love everything. They mm -hmm. they devour lobsters yeah. and shrimp, mm -hmm. and they eat all I'm the sure vegetables. Sure, they have a totally different palate. Oh yes, and the eggs are right. I brought them in this morning, right from my chicken coop, and we have all different kinds. This one, the little speckled one, I just told Jennifer, she asked what that one was. That's a guinea egg yes. from the guinea fowl. So are these olive eggers? Those are, no, those are marans, French marans. Oh, you I have, have a marans. You do? I have a blue copper marans. Oh, okay. And it, it, it does. Chocolate it, eggs. It does a chocolate, yeah. I have chocolate eggs. Yeah, I love those. And the, are and these? The Araconas or That's Americanas. That's Aracon. Okay, yeah. okay, I have that. And then uh, all different kinds of. Like uh, an Australorp. Yeah, and speckled Sussex and, mm -hmm. um, 
I don't have any Egyptian Fayumis right now. You can have them in California. Have you ever seen one? I don't know. What, Egyptian I, Fayumi. They're really cute. They're kind of skinny and long, but they don't weather well in the winter. I oh, found okay. one frozen to death once, Whoops. so don't, don't get an Egyptian <laughs> Fayumi if you're living in New York. Um, so want to start with the pie? Yes, please. Okay, because that has to go in the oven. Okay, great. And you can roll out the puff okay. if you'd like. Great, great. So this is puff pastry. Now you can buy puff pastry um, at the grocery store, but if you have a good bakery, it's also nice to, oh, this one's folded. You can also uh, get really, really good puff pastry from uh, the best pastry shop. My hands are clean, so you're watching yours. Thank I'm you. Watching mine. Sorry, but I'm Thank you. Hi, Martha. We have a question from Kendra. Yeah, I hope we get a lot of questions. By the way, you know, on Facebook Live, you can uh, just type in a question, ask us anything you'd like, except anything too personal, right? Right. We don't want to. Needs personal. it. Let's talk cooking. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk what's going on. Yeah. Entrepreneurial ventures. Yes stuff like that okay what's the question Kendra wants to know do the eggs from different birds give different tastes to the recipes no the chickens um, it depends on what the chicken eats what the egg tastes like so our, my all my chickens eat exactly the same things so and the same with yours yes. what do you feed do you feed yours all the scraps from the kitchen scraps from the kitchen yeah. scraps from the garden um, and then just an organic chicken feed yeah. I'm not to the point where I'm making my own chicken food. No, no, don't don't make your own chicken okay. food because they are happy eating the grass cuttings. Yes. <laughs> They're happy eating. I, I take home from the kitchens here, I take home all the vegetable scraps from the test kitchens and that amounts to a lot of scraps. Uh, my daughter saves me all her scraps mm -hmm. and then I, the chickens get that every single morning in addition to their cracked corn and their um, and their grit, or mm -hmm. their grit, mm -hmm. and their um, what do you call that other the stuff? The oyster shells and the oh yeah, all that and stuff. All that stuff. And their and their chicken food. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I buy I do buy organic. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna eat that. Just eggs. roll this a little bit and then cut me around the size of this. Okay. Just a little, just even that out. Okay. I'll make the I'll make the excuse me the peach filling. Uh, Jennifer, yeah. we have a question for you from Karen. Oops. Okay. She wants to know any plans for a regular cooking show. <laughs> no, thank you. I just, um, <laughs> I like doing a three or four minute version in my pajamas at my house and I like being here, but no, that's, that's probably as far as I should acting. go. If I could act like you act, I would be doing that, not this. Do you want it to directly, do you want it to be yeah, exact yeah. to size? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, whatever. Or you can turn it the other way. It's, it's easier because oh. that's a little rim. See, that's easier. Thank Two you. Two tablespoons of I have a quarter cup of dark brown sugar and two tables, uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Is Corn. this a is this a topping you're making? Just... You're making the topping. I'm making the the sweetener for the peaches. Oh, good. So we're not being we're not being sugar free. Do you eat any sugar? Sometimes, yeah. You, you eat desserts, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. And Can you cheese... remind viewers what you guys are making today? We're making a beautiful. Um, peach sort of like a peach cobbler pie deep yeah, dish peach yeah. pie i have a peach tree that is going to be going nuts here oh soon. yes oh yes. In, no no don't put it in there put it um, on that on that tray right there okay now i'm adding uh one tablespoon of bourbon to the filling yum i like bourbon and peaches it tastes they taste delicious with a little bit of whiskey you could put cognac in it if you mm -hmm. wanted salt currant would be good and then the peaches. Do you need these peeled up. and sliced? No, not peeled. Just, just, just slice. slice them? You can do that. Do you, you do want. it direct? Can I do it directly on no, here? No, right in here. Right into oh, here. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Just, uh, just wedges, like six, yeah. six wedges. And now I'm going to score this. I need another knife. Here it is. And we're going to put this in the oven first. Score it. Don't go through. When you score, you just cut partially through. If you cut through, if you cut through, then you'll have a whole piece of it. Right. That and won't then be it so doesn't, smart. Then it's not a pot pie. Okay, which won't be good. And an egg wash. Martha Elizabeth wants to know where are there, where are the chows today? The chow chows? Yes. They're not here. I left them home today. They had a very. Did they come in? Oh yeah, they love coming to the, to the office. I have two baby chows now. One's two years old. Oh, Emperor, I saw this. Emperor's chin, and then the baby baby is. Um, He's now 14 weeks old. So cute and so well behaved. Except he peed on a whole rug yesterday. So well behaved. <laughs> so that's not that's so well behaved. I mean, was, I don't want to. He wanted to go outside and nobody let him out. So he peed on the rug just to remind mm -hmm. us that he is 
A baby a and baby. a dog. <laughs> so funny. Now I had a brush here for this. Oh, by the way, any leftover pastry, uh, don't waste this. This Never. Is, no, this, this can get wrapped, be wrapped back up and put into the refrigerator and you can make little, little tiny peach pies Tartlets. if you like. Yeah. You know. You can make a little hand pie. Yes. We have a question for Jennifer. Bring it. Who taught you how to cook? Um, my mom did, but I think I've never been a pretty cook, as you can see. Um, but are also, those, are, those, are those cling stones, by the way? Yes, they are. See, cling stone peaches, that's what's happening now. Those are the first peaches that come. And they cling to the stone. Oh, so that, well, that they, makes me feel better. Yeah, don't feel bad. <laughs> um, but I, I really, I mean, I, my mom has always cooked. She didn't teach me, but we watched, I would say, more than anything. But Was she a I, good cook? She's a great cook. Oh. But um, I will say that you cannot overstate how much my, we have all learned from watching you, from watching you started basically kicked off the Food Network. You, Emeril Lagasse, all those early, I mean, that's that's really just watching you do it has made a world of difference. Oh, it's been to watch everybody, yeah. It's, and it's so much fun to teach people how to do these things. Well, I egg washed the top of the scored pastry, then I sprinkled it with beautiful, beautiful crystal sugar. Uh, I that love, is pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I love this glistening sugar. And that'll make a pretty top and just oh, a little okay. crunchy too. Yeah. So this is gonna go back and go right into the oven. Um, and it is um, at, uh, what's the temperature of my uh, oven? I forgot. 350. 350, okay, this is gonna go right in the oven. We have another question for Jennifer. Okay. Do your kids ever not eat what you make? Always. I think the harder I work on something, the less likely they are to eat it. Um, that's just, I mean, sometimes they, they, they just always surprise me. If I expect them to love it, they won't eat it. If it's their favorite meal oh. and I've worked all day, oh. they tell me they're not hungry. And then sometimes, you know, they love it more than anything. But they always, we were just on vacation and when they were, they said, Mom, when you're home next week, will you cook every night? So I know it matters to them. And where'd you go? Um, we went to the Bahamas. <gasps> Was it fun? Pretty fancy. Um, yeah, of course, just blue ocean and a pool and kids. What's better than that? Not, it's just perfect. Are they good swimmers? Yeah, they are good, good. swimmers. Yeah. Okay. So this one is making me nervous. Don't worry. Because you're watching. <laughs> Here, just mm -hmm. one there. last. Oh, that one was funny. Oh, go, go on the It doesn't bother yeah. you? No. Okay. We have a great question from Lords. How did Jen and Martha meet? How did oh, we meet? I'll tell you. Oh, okay. I watched, um, when I was first starting out as an actress, Martha had a very early cooking show on. Um, was it In the Kitchen with Martha or before that? It was yeah. very, it was a very long time ago. And I, when I finally started being able to go on to shows, I wanted to be a guest, but she didn't have actors on. She only had real chefs. <laughs> and I just wanted so badly so to lied. be in her magazine. She lied and said she was a No, fit. I named my dog after you. Oh, that's right. And then my we had to have a white her. lab. That's right. And then that did the trick. And once she knew that, she was like, okay, this girl's a stalker, but she can come on my show. So I went on and we made a Thanksgiving dinner together. And it's what I've made every oh, year since. And it's such a good dinner. That it is. Cranberry glazed turkey. It's in mm. your holiday book now. Yep. It didn't used to be, but, and then cranberry cornbread stuffing. Delish. So the peaches mixed with that lovely brown sugar and, um, and a little bit of cornstarch. Tastes good. Oh and a little bit of bourbon. Oh, the bourbon. Yeah, see, just one tablespoon really makes the difference. Two tablespoons would be better. Okay. <laughs> That is so good, Martha so, so Stewart. Si so simple, and um, and so it's really baked. Mm. This is baked separately from the top, so no, I don't ever put aluminum foil on my food. Do you? Oh, why? why? Teach me. Do you? Do you wrap food in aluminum? I'm sure that I have. Is that yeah. bad for you? It's bad. Okay. I just don't believe in putting aluminum onto any food, so I put a piece of parchment first, then. I crimp the aluminum around. I don't feel like I've ever heard you say that. Oh, I have many times. Okay, well, I'm I glad even, I... I even invented Martha Wrap, which was parchment lined aluminum foil, which you oh can find gosh. some places. So, there. 
and that goes into the same 350 degree oven uh, until the uh, peaches get nice and, and uh, moist. Uh, they're bubbling and warm, and uh, it takes about one hour. Mm. So it goes in, but the pastry gets cooked fast. Now to make things easier, we have swap outs. So let me just wipe up the counter mm, got, so we can got. finish the pie. We have a question from Claire. Yes. Martha and Jen, what is your favorite dessert? Oh. Hmm. I have so many. I do too. I mean, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with the chocolate chip cookie. Homemade. Oh, yeah. With salt on top. Are you yes. making it with salty now? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they're so good with it. You can even make uh, chocolate chip, chocolate chip vanilla sandwiches. Yes. Which, with vanilla, homemade vanilla ice cream. Mm, yes. Do you make mm. your own ice cream? Yes, I do. Oh, here you go. That's, that's for your hands. If you need that. So glad you asked. Not always. Now, let me just get the rest of the uh, the finished uh, pie out of the oven. Martha, what is um, in your garden right now? We need pot holders. Okay. It's in my garden. All, every, some in there. Everything is in my garden. We have... Um, I, I, I went down to my garden yesterday just to pick with artichokes ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did so, too. So we're growing artichokes, all the peas. Peas are almost done. They're almost finished. Look at that. Yeah, there's the top. And here is the peach bottom. Oops. Ah! It's very hot. We can undo the top. You'll see how pretty, see how juicy the peaches become. And the color is so good. And then you can just pick up this and put it on the top. And it just flips. And voila, of. you have your dessert. So it's kind of easy. And you can do this uh, ahead of time and your, your pastry will never get soggy. Um, it looks good, right? It looks so good. Yeah. When's the part where we cut in and we say, oh, that's later, so good. Later, later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> later, you still have more work to do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this I'll just put over here. Martha, viewers want to know why you added bourbon to the pie. Flavor. Just flavor. It's just barely a tiny little yeah. bit of flavor, but it's so it brings good. Out, it brings out that delicious taste of the peaches. I'm going to put this here so that they doesn't burn my countertop. There. There. So now I wanted to show you also how to make the lobster sandwich. Now, do you get lobsters out in, in LA? No, not very often. No, because they're... Because they're not legit. They need right, it's really main. Yeah. So, so this is cooked already. It's, you can either steam your lobsters or boil your lobsters. And how do you get the tail out? You show me. Okay. A fork. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of goop. goop on it, so let me just take that off onto yeah. a plate. I'm going to put that here. Don't have to show this part because this is a little messy. Mm -hmm. But this is a little. Oh, it's a lot. This is a female. Do you, do you know how to tell? Yep, because the, the red row. Eggs. The red row. Yeah. Actually, this is Truman's favorite part. He has. He likes the females. <laughs> Seven-year-old loves females, and he knows the difference between that. I would expect nothing less. So now put your fork right okay. under this part of the tail, mm -hmm. like this. Now, I've never done it with a cold lobster, so let's hope that it comes out. And it should pull right out. I remember the first time I met you, you told me that if you hadn't been doing what you were doing, you could have been a surgeon. I could have. And I should have. There, it's coming out. It seems like you've done all right. It, it's, you know, it's cold. I've never done it on a cold lobster. I take my lobsters apart when they are, when they are we can see right why. out of the water. Wow, look at that. Oh. Have you been up to me? Um, I have, yes, and Is I'm going glorious? back soon. Sorry, I'm making a mess of this tail. Cause it's, I'm going to break it off because I don't want to hurt the, hurt the meat. So there's the row. Mmm, delicious. Oh, well. There. Wow. So that's the way you get the tail out. 
Oops. This should be not on ice like that, but it should be on. You put a tray full of ice and you put a plastic over the ice so you don't have your meat sitting in water. I don't know who did that, but his will roll. We have a question for Martha and Jen. Mm -hmm. How many times have you both cooked together? Oh my gosh. Oh, like six, or, six or times or seven times, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so sweet, this lobster. Say, man, if you want shrimp, you can have shrimp. Yeah, you can do that. I got you, I got you lady. Now the claws. Mm -hmm. You can do one if you want. Sure. Just use your. Okay. But I don't really know about lobster. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, so do you, really do you like a, lobster? I do, but I I have never lived in Maine. Oh. So it's usually served to me. Oh. So do I crack this bad boy right here? Yeah, crack it and yeah, not too hard. You don't want to. Um, you don't want to damage the meat. Yeah, you're good. Okay. We have a question from Roland. He and wants the, and the knuckles too. These are called knuckles. All right, I'm gonna watch you do it. Okay, so no, you you do it. You do I will, it. but I'm there like that. Like that. And then this one like that. Just so you crush this the shell. And then this one is in the fat part. Yeah, like Ooh. that. So you can take it apart like that. Let's see, Ooh, it's coming up perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roland wants to know, how long do you usually boil the lobster? Oh, I boil mine um, for about 15 minutes. I put them in boiling water with vodka or tequila. I give them a drink. Why? Well, if you were going to be boiled alive, wouldn't you like to have a drink first? You're right, Martha. Right, so <laughs> I'm humane. <laughs> And um, so I and about a, about a half a cup of vodka to the pot of water, and see how the nicely the meat comes out, so rich and beautiful. Yeah. Jennifer wants to know, Martha, do you love Alaskan king crab like I do? I do, I do. I love you it. You like Alaska in general, don't I you? I love Alaska, and I could go there right now. It's, it's just one of the most interesting places. And it's time to really go there and see all the glaciers yeah. before they all melt. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you go on a big expedition? I did. You know. How do you know? Because you watch my show. I watch you, Martha. I yes. pay attention. I always have. These movie stars, you know, they have extra time. They can sit in their trailer and watch <laughs> oh TV. Yeah, that, that's what that's, it is. That's what, and it, and no, it is, because you do have downtime, right? Between no. scenes? Never? Rarely. Oh, I thought you did. Oh, I, and if I did, out. I would never turn on a TV. Oh, good. You have to think about your part, right? Well, I just, there's so much to do. I would be, I would a room mom I was like dealing with sixth grade field trips <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun there okay, right, okay. That's triumph okay got that done okay okay so now we can move away from this messy messy uh, shells shell yeah. counter but there's all your fish you have lobster okay. and shrimp and we'll have to rinse your hands again and we'll make the condiments yeah. Okay, somebody can We have a question for Jen. Yes. What kind of animals do you have on your farm? Well, um, in my home in LA, I have six full size chickens. I have seven chicks that are, what did I say, about 10 weeks old? And then um, many, many bees, a dog. How many hives? Uh, seven. Oh, seven hives. Yeah. That's a lot. I know. It's How a many lot. acres? Uh, three. Oh, wow. But it, we, we back up to there are more. There oh. are more acres around. Oh, boy. How fantastic. We just lost a queen, though. We're trying to see if they're going to requeen themselves like, or if we're going to have to requeen the hive. Oh, yeah. They won't do it themselves, most likely. Well, that's probably. Yeah. You have to get a, a new queen or make a new queen. Mm -hmm. So I'm making the mignonette for the. For the sandwich and uh, it's lemon juice and mm -hmm. red wine vinegar mm -hmm. so the juice of one lemon do you have one of these at home yes oh good you need that if you're going to make margaritas or mm -hmm. guacamole you mm -hmm. just have to have that that you made that didn't you oh i did mm -hmm. and then um, a little bit of salt like a teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and two teaspoons of sugar. Mm. Mignonette is one of my favorite, favorite sauces. Why is it a mignonette instead of a vinaigrette? Uh, it has shallots in it. Oh, okay. And you just, a lot of shallots. Oh, yes. And that you can use. This is a great, great topping. You can make this ahead of time. Um, oh, you want to crumble the bacon into yes. the mayo? So we're making a bacon mayonnaise. So this is two-thirds of a cup of mayonnaise, crumpled bacon. And it's easier to crumple it and to put it on the sandwich than to yeah. put those big pieces of bacon on the yeah, sandwich. I agree. That's the one thing I learned from Snoop was cut the bacon before you cook it. I just like that sentence. Uh, yes. <laughs> the one thing I learned, I learned from Snoop. Learned from Snoop was crumble your bacon <laughs> ahead of time. So some mustard, Dijon mustard too. We have a question for Jennifer. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite flavors you've created for Once Upon a Farm? Ooh, I love, um, I love the mango. I love the smoothies, the strawberry smoothie. I love blue, mama blueberry. I love the blueberry. I love apple kale. I love straight up apple. All of them, they're all really good. I love the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Children, children should be fed all those delicious things. We're gonna get to that in one second because I thought we should each have a sandwich yes, made. So here is our tray of avocado, tomato, hard-boiled egg, fresh yeah. herbs, toast. So you can make your sandwich. I'll make mine. I'm gonna do lobster. I'm okay. gonna do a lobster. And you can slice the lobster if Ooh, you would want. Would you slice me some lobster, I please? will. Here's some avocado if you'd like. Well, I would definitely want avocado. So I'll, here, I'll put yours out here, too. So. Nora says, Jennifer, love your pretend cooking show. Any chance Martha will join you at home next? Martha, do you want to put on your PJs and make a pretend cooking show with me? It takes about 10 minutes. Definitely. <laughs> There's no hair makeup. Only I don't wear pajamas. I wear nightgowns. Okay, great. I'll wear a nightgown. Oh, okay. We're I'll a sexy. We're a sexy nightgown. Ooh, all right. It's even fun. more fun. Here, I don't. I this. don't wear bathrobes. Do you? Um, no. I never have a bathrobe. You know what? On. I wear sweats. Let's face it. Oh, you sweats. wear sweats to sleep in? I wear sweats all the time. Okay, so that's for your sandwich. That's how my kids know I'm home for oh, the day. They say, oh. put on sweats and glasses, mom. Oh. So here we're just putting. I'm putting my lobster tail right on the bread. Okay. Now you want lobster too? Yes, please. Okay, let's find the other tail for you. Jennifer, viewers want to know, yes. what was your inspiration for Once Upon a Farm? Um, well, it was that it was a company that I would have used. You know, this is a funny story. Do you want to hear this? Yes. When I was um, about to have my first baby, I was on your show. And you were so sweet to me and you said, I'm going to teach you how to make homemade baby food. And at the time I said, I would never make homemade baby food. I would just buy jarred because I hadn't had a baby yet. Yeah. So I thought, oh, it's all fine. Well, I thought a lot of things that weren't true. I was as, you know, the first you time. You really I was think you were going to buy baby food? I really did. I just, I didn't know what it was going to look like. So here you make all this gorgeous food for yourself and you open a jar of baby food and you go, ah! And so of course, what did I do? I made all my kids baby food. But there are times where you don't have time to do it. Right. And I just, it did not make sense. And when I heard about this little company, it was in just not many stores um, called Once Upon a Farm where they made baby food. It's refrigerated because it's as fresh as it could possibly be besides making it yourself. And it just seemed to make sense to me. That's how baby food should be. And it's not, you know, normally you say baby food gross, but this I would eat, you would eat, you'd put it in your yogurt, you'd have it as a snack, and you should want to eat the food you're feeding your baby. Yes. So definitely. that's why. Oh, Thank you good. for asking. Good. So have you, you visited, of course, all the facilities where everything is made? Yes. And actually, the um, one of the farms is the farm my mom grew up on. Oh. We are growing our- Where's that? It is in Locust Grove, Oklahoma. Oh. My uncle Robert is the farmer. Ah. My favorite uncle Okay, you want basil? Hall. Yes, please. And um, we just plowed it for the first time, and it has, it's gonna grow persimmons. Oh, lovely. And kale and blueberries, all great for babies. Mm. That looks, that sounds so good. Yes. So there. That and then I would put a little bit more on. Oh, I want some of the mignonette. Yes. Oh, you can. We need a spoon. Do you see a spoon anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, no 
spoon the stone. Oh, this is a double situation. But you could also soak the lobster in the mignonette or the shrimp. Yeah, you got it. Okay, just do that. Yeah. I prefer not having the mignonette on this. I like dipping it into it. Ooh. And then... We have a question for Jen. Melissa wants to know, do your kids like to cook in the kitchen with you? They do. My kids are really good cooks and they, they are, are great. Um, they love spending time in the kitchen, don't they? They do. And they're great bakers. They are um, happy to go in. My middle daughter just mm. went in and made a cake totally by herself the mm. other day. She was so oh, proud. She? She's nine. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. It's so great. She was so proud of herself. She I made love, the, I the love it. When, she made everything. May I have that, that green pipe? It's yes. really short on pipes. That is so wow, good. Look at that. Okay. When, and when toast you your bread right before you make your sandwich. Not don't let it be sitting out like that because even for a party you just have to toast it right before. Okay. When are so. we gonna have that thing where we have a bite and say it's so good? Well, that's yours. This is mine. Here, let's stand over here and make it look pretty. Okay. So that people think we know what we're doing. You can have some. These are all garden tomatoes. They're gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. So, I'm surprised your tomatoes are in so early. My, those are not mine. Okay. I, I confess, I do not have any tomatoes yet. My plants are about two and a half feet tall. Yeah. So. Tomatoes take a long time in, here in the uh, Northeast. Yeah, I should mm. go home to mountains of tomatoes. I haven't asked them. Mm. Mm, I love the bacon and the mayo. Mm. Viewers want to know what kind of bread you guys are using. That is a country white loaf. Perfect. It's Wonder Bread. No, it is I'm not. Just <laughs> it is not. It is wonderful bread. Mm, Martha loves Wonder Bread. It is. Um, <laughs> you know, when my mother used to send me to the to the store mm -hmm. for the Wonder Bread, um, I would open one end very carefully and I would eat through the middle and take it all out and then put it back together again. And then I'd hand her the loaf at home and then I'd get whooped. Mm, she knew. Because I ate the whole inside. Mm -hmm. It was so good. <laughs> but Wonder Bread used to be delicious. <laughs> we have so, a great so question you're hungry. from- you're mm hungry. -hmm. I can eat this. That's my lunch. Mm -hmm. We have a great question from Samantha. She wants to know, do you guys have any tips for a first time mom looking to make baby food? Mm. Mm -hmm. You're doing. You're the mom. You're the young mom. You're the you. No, that's okay. I want to hear what you have to say because you're now the entrepreneur with the baby food. Okay. Um, I would say breast is best for as six months. Somewhere in there, you start mixing in a little, whatever you want to do, whatever your doctor is recommending, whether it's um, breast milk with some oatmeal or quinoa or, and then you start mixing in different flavors and just kind of expanding their palate. And then as they get bigger, you want them to have what you're having, right? As yes. soon as possible. Yep, and mush it up if you have to. But boy, I think I think this, the sooner, and I don't mean the sooner, you, as soon as your doctor says you can feed uh, solid foods, then you can start making delicious, delicious foods. Mm -hmm. And then the convenience of having something like, um, and I have not tasted Jennifer's mm. foods yet, so I'm going to, Take one of each mm -hmm. and feed it to the nearest baby and see what they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll like them too, Martha. Daisy, my makeup artist, has a, a, a new baby who's uh, on baby food now, and we're going to try it out on him. Good. Yeah, Good. he's so cute, and he loves food. So we're going to try it and see how he responds. But I'm sure uh, since it does um, um, come from Jennifer Garner, it got to be. It, it actually really is good. It's Babies good. and moms love it. You can yes. feel great about feeding it. But let's talk about one other thing, which is how good this sandwich Isn't is. Isn't it good? It is. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Legit good. Yeah. Any other questions from all of you out there? Yes, we have a question for Jen. Oh. Viewers saw that you threw a party upstate this weekend. Can you describe what that event mm. was for? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was at Amber Waves. Oh. Oh my gosh, what a great farm. Was that on Saturday? Mm-hmm. And I was in L.A. Mm -hmm. Do I have stuff there? I know, we kind of missed each other. I know, I'm so sorry because I have a house in East Hampton. Oh my gosh, um, how beautiful. Yeah. I haven't spent time in Hampton. It's oh, beautiful. It is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, um, so what did you do? How many people showed up? 
Well, we, it was a lot of moms and kids, and they had um, a farm stand. You could pick your own stuff. You could make your own bouquet. We had Ron it's Finley. It's a CSA, isn't it? A CSA mm -hmm. and her farms, yeah. Did you, do you know Ron Finley, the, the, the gangster gardener? He's an urban gardener. I, he came I and we, don't know him personally, but I know him. You would like him. Yeah, but sure. Um, so we, we gardened together um, and planted some things. We had a lemonade stand, and we you know, celebrated once upon a farm. It was really fun. That is so nice. Ooh, ooh, good. Let's yeah. So should we try the, I guess this is when it's warm. There's an ice cream in the bottom. Can I have that little? Thank you. Jennifer wants her peach pie. <laughs> ooh. And vanilla ice cream. So do you do, um, do you always do a custard or do you ever cheat and just do? Milk? Yeah. Or cream, yeah. Mm -hmm. of course. The new ice creams, you know, you don't don't have eggs in them anymore. They don't. No, most don't have to have eggs. I prefer eggless ice cream. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you heard it here first. Mm -hmm. I like sorbets. I like my mother's sherbet. Does um. There. Does that gelato? Nice? That is gorgeous. Does gelato have eggs? Yeah, generally not. I like gelato. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And the peaches are just so perfectly cooked. It's an easy, easy way to make a pie. Oh, look how great. Look at that. That's one right here. Yeah. Mm, these peaches are so good. Now you can do this the same pie with plums, nectarines, cherries. You can also mix it up. Apples, Couldn't you just add blueberries to it or oh, raspberries? Blueberries. Or I just picked all my blueberries. Do you have blueberries? Yes. In I had California. so many blueberries. Oh. I didn't think I could do it, but then someone recommended it and then planted a gajillion. Hmm. In California? Yes. Oh, good. Now I have a bunch frozen because mine are done. Mine are, were done in June. I have a question for Jen. Yes. Viewers want to know what different ages are once upon a time or once upon a farm great for? Mm. They start as soon as you're ready to feed your baby, um, five months. And then there's a tot age that has, they kind of progress, and there are tots that have more texture and more diverse flavors, and then it goes all the way up into smoothies. Oh. But really, yeah, and the smoothies are delicious. You would enjoy them. They're, and how are the, uh, the smoothies packaged? In the same package? For now, they're all the same. What did you add to this ice cream? Is there a little cognac or something, or is it just that tasty? Mm. That is good stuff. Okay. Whatever that is. Just cream. Um, so they good go. organic cream. Yes, delish. Mm. So any phase from baby, baby, all the way up into child. For sure, should enjoy them. Well, I could eat that whole pie, and so can mm -hmm. you, if you um, just. It's so easy to make and it's so so good and you can make lots of them if you're going to have a big buffet party you can just do mm -mm. every different flavor down the down the buffet people will like digging oh gosh, in and why is this it. so good isn't it good and the pastry is so good right uh -huh. you're hungry that's why mm -hmm. so you got a big promo tour right now for for once upon a farm i am doing a little bit of press for it uh -huh. well you have to yeah and i'm, I'm excited entrepreneurs have to publicize market advertise work 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 it's work, true work. and also people don't know where to look for us because oh, yes. they look oh, so at the baby where, so where do we look we're in the refrigerated oh, section okay next to baby yogurt usually oh, okay so that you have to go you have at to what kind stores of, specifically? Oh, kroger whole foods target and beyond oh good mm -hmm. okay so we'll it's easy to find most of mm -hmm. us shop at those places mm -hmm. We have a question for Martha and Jen. Mm -hmm. Viewers want to know, do you guys ever like to cook while listening to music? Mm, I do. Don't you have music on all the time? All the time. House? Yeah, I have music on. I have, I actually play symphony because of I have canaries who love singing along with Beethoven and Bach. And, do they really? Oh, yes, they sing all the time. Do they like country music? Um, not, not so much. They, they like the vacuum or classical. <laughs> That's, they, they don't. They don't like it when I bring vocalists in too often. Yesterday they were. We were playing something. They want to be the stars. They want to be the stars. They want to be do the singing. But um, but I have it on twenty four hours a day mm -hmm, in my house, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's so nice to have music. 
And of course, you can then play, play some good dance music and dance away while you're cooking. Do you do that? Of course. Yes. Yeah, do you remember when I talked my way into your house? We're in Bedford? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, heard, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yes. She talked her way out. Who's not going to let you in, Jennifer? Come on. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Jen, Angelique wants to know, do you subscribe to Martha Stewart Living Magazine? I have since the very beginning. It is the most bought over thing in my house. My <laughs> daughter steals it the second she sees it. We usually have a couple because I get so frustrated because she has it that I buy another one. Well, if they're cooking, they need those recipes mm -hmm. because there's recipes from simple to more complicated and um, every single month you get really good new ideas in the magazine. Martha, this like is this. So good. Yeah. Look, you're eating the whole thing. You must be hungry. I'm did really you go to the hungry. gym today? I did not, but I'm going back to that to sandwich. The sandwich. Just okay, we, we can finish and then our go sandwiches. backwards. And uh, we'd be happy to answer any other questions. Any other? Viewers want to know where can they get this recipe? Oh, oh right at MarthaStewart.com or in the July issue mm -hmm. of Martha Stewart Living Magazine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. Yeah. Let's add this issue. I've read it cover to cover. Mm, so good. Oh my gosh, look. Here it is. Our lunch looks like the cover. <laughs> we did such a good job. Are you going to finish your pie? Because I'm going to have You can it. have mine. Here, have all my ice cream. <laughs> what is this ice cream recipe? I am not doing I am not doing um, uh, action movies right now, so I'm not going to eat the <laughs> other scoop of ice cream. You can have my ice cream, but I'm going to eat the rest of my sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, so if um, should we look at should we look a little bit at your? Oh yeah, of course. I don't know what time it is. How long? How long have we been talking to everybody? Oh my gosh, this would be oh yeah. Why well, so forty five minutes went by really fast. Here, stand here because mm. you you have to tell us. Okay. So different mm -hmm. color tops signify what? Different color tops just are pretty because it's your food should be a rainbow and the food inside is a rainbow and you oh, see we a have a little smoothie. window there so that you can see the color it's real mango there's oh. nothing else if you look under ingredients well my eyes don't work but it says organic mango that's okay. it yeah there's so nothing else in here is organic and 100 calories mm. for the super uh, oh storybook super smoothie. Right, and which most baby right. food is so filled with sugar, there's nothing in here. Yeah. Mango. Sweet as apple pie, apples mm -hmm. hugged by cinnamon and dates. Yes, but there's and another apple sauce. Ooh, apple blueberry, straight from the apple. That's my fave. And this one is um, wild rumpus avocado. What does that mean, rumpus? It's because it's once upon a farm, it's like a storybook kind oh, of theme. Okay. And so Apple wild blueberry. Rumpus, from apples blended with juicy blueberries. Look, organic apples. Boo. Mm. That's it. Oh, just that? Yeah. You want to try it? And the whole thing, you're just... Oh. <laughs> it's like a baby. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, right? Yeah. And it tastes, it tastes like what it like is. like apples. Yeah. So they're resealable, but a baby Kale can eat apples. the whole thing, right? Oh, okay. baby apples. Baby can eat the whole oh, thing. Oh, there are many things oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There should be sweet potatoes in here somewhere. Delightful enough. Mm, Sunshine Chinese. strawberry patch. That's oh, a good yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Oh, strawberry. But I'm not kidding. That could be on your ice cream, and you would say, yes, Mama please. bear blueberry. Blueberry rosemary perfection. They all have a great ingredient in there for brain growth as well. So when you're making your homemade baby food, maybe think to add something great with omega-3s for your baby's brain, like quinoa or avocado or what right. else would be good? Um, papaya. Papaya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why we were growing yeah. these persimmons. So very interesting and, mm -hmm. um, and a very good, if you don't have time to cook, um, open one of these and not something else, right? Yes, yes. please because you'll be getting what Jennifer feeds her brilliant daughters. <laughs> yes. And son, I have Oh, you do have a son now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, oh yeah, I have way too, just oh, yeah. lots of them. Oh, lots oh yeah, them. lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we had a very nice time talking to Jennifer Garner today and uh, cooking up a nice little lunch. I hope you enjoyed our Facebook Live, and uh, we'll see you very soon on our next one. But it won't be with Jennifer Garner, I'm sorry to say, but come back. You never know. You never know. Yeah, Thank I you. tend to pop up.